Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here the start of a new campaign in the second Sengoku mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mogul Lover, but we gotta talk about 1936 elections. Japan's fractured. A little more than Edo in a grasp, but we will not throw away our democratic way of life. The people deserve to dictate what groups shall carve their future for themselves, not through our minority groups launching uprisings through the country, by simple ballot paper and the campaign trail. And we're also playing as a provisional government of the Republic of Japan. And we're focused so... Um, for this campaign, I want to go with conservatives, not the social democratic, because if we go with conservatives, I guess you can go with this fascist route as well, but, uh, you get eight infantry battalions, so, you also get Yasuhito, because, why not? Because, why not? So, uh, so with the conservative majority, also, if you can choose this at any time, you're gonna end up getting an assassination of the prime minister, so it is what it is, but... We don't want to assassinate him yet. Maybe someday. The Tories. Stand victorious in the face of chaos and anarchy. Our future is clear. Edo shall become a shining beacon where a man can become whatever he wants if he's prepared to carry the burden of achieving their aims. Is the Conservative Party considered Tories in Japan? I guess it's the second Sengoku, but still. Like, huh. And of course, we're fight we are having all our soldiers on the border of the Communists because... Who likes Communists? Bad supply, huh? Well, and final tour, Conservative Party... Or everyone dies in the end. Let's see. Do we still have supply issues here? Nah, much better. Who developed it is? Very urbanized. In Edo, Saitama, Kawa, Go. The winner is a conservative one. Someone won. Oh, it'll be auto completed. The sun rises. The Republic is back once more, rejuvenated and invigorated. We will let no one stand in the way of the right of the people. No fascist, nor communist, nor any petty general shall stand in our march towards ultimate victory. Japan shall be reborn once more. Get more population and more attack, which I do like. Which is another reason why I chose this route. Because we could go with the fascist, but... That actually helped the Zaibatsus, but heart of Japan. We lose political power and stability, but... Oh no, we get more political power, we get more stability, we lose daily communist and fascist support. Hito's the heart of Japan. It's better than that the world is thrown at it, it still survives. As long as remains free and under the Republic of uh, Freedom of Mother Republic, the dream of liberty and happiness for the Japanese people shall never die. The thought of Japan may have stopped for a mere moment, but now it beats once again. We shall not rest until it's pumping the blood of freedom and liberty to every corner of uh, the country. Or the nation, really. Led by uh, Wakatsuki Raijiro? And then Fumina Fumimaro Kono. We currently have 85 political power, we have no fuel, pretty normal stuff. As I just want to kill everybody off in United you know, Japan. That's pretty much all I want to do. Schedule elections. Japan is fractured with a little more than Tokyo and regress, but we'll not throw away our democratic way of life. We will deserve to dictate what groups shall carve the future for themselves, not through our minority groups launching uprisings through the country. By a simple ballot paper in the campaign trail when removed. Oh. O okay. Sure, why not? And what else? Oh, well, yeah, we definitely want research speed. Definitely, 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 definitely. We're already on early mobilization, which ain't bad. Um, I would like to get more political power, but I don't think... We, oh, also, we, are we losing this still? Oh, crap, we are. So, we'll see where we end up. Conservatives prevail in Kanto. In this decisive election, the conservatives manage to get a comfortable victory, huh? Oh, with a more aggressive stance, this might mean that Kanto will take initiative to go on their own warpath. Okay. Civil war in Spain. Oh, no. And 9% of secularism. Oh, the sun rises. And heart of Japan. Yay. Let's see, this does not look very good. 100% economic recovery. It's still getting there. Spanish Civil War. Sure, okay. We can't, we don't even have a thousand guns. Oh, God. We really don't have a thousand guns. That's alright, whatever. And poor working conditions. United Japan. I would like to. We And we will eventually. So, we'll see what happens, get some research speed. Soviets up the Republicans, alright. 15, 25. Shogun, International Brigades, alright. Tokugawa, to, Tokugawa Shogunate. Oh, they're fighting these guys up here. Officers Revolt, huh? Which I'll try to probably play these guys sometime, but we'll see. Oh, it's actually the heart of Japan. Contact the Emperor. Dresses like Batsus. Gotta see what that one's. The Batsus hold a lot of power, sometimes more than the fragile government. We must say what to do with them. Germans back Shikoku. To no surprise, the Germans based on Yawatahama decided to back Adachi Kenzo's claim over the Seto Islands. Although, cloaked in soft words, the Germans are so clearly trying to tip the favors in, in, the, fa in the closest allies. The meddling is inappropriate. Well, that sucks. But, oh well. 
And, okay, so we're no longer losing it, so let's go and go partial mobilization at the very least. So, Republicans de facto. Huh? So now, we're gonna build more civvies. I guess civvies for now. Working on our artillery, soldiers wise. I remember to at least get some guys here, get some motorized, maybe some tanks eventually as well. That'd be nice. And the divisions are what? They are 18 combo with, which are pretty decent. That's a pretty not bad division. Republican infighting? Ah, uh, pretty normal. Over here, I'm not sure what we're going to choose yet, but we'll get there. Can't send anything else yet. Um, 111 political party. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe get more conservative support. Well, what's after this one? So, we needed all of these, but we can't do that one. So, we call it Zaibatsu Limitation Act. We can remove the Zaibatsu, which gives way more political power, consumer goods, and honestly, it's probably worth it. Contract the Emperor, Imperial Deal. Zabatsu Limitation Act. The largest corporations of a nation have had long had unprecedented political and economic power in time of crisis. A government weakened by corporations is not what we need. And we will do the defense spending and military stuff eventually, too, so. A little ahead of time, that's alright for now. Nice. Limit them. For we must. Now we can go with uncompromising republicanism. It's not bad, but it hurts a demonic support. Korea's new emperor, huh? But contact the emperor. By opening an official dialogue with Showa, we can begin to open the possibility of it. Oh my gosh. Uh, we can begin to open the possibility of a negotiated resolution for our division. We shall send emissaries to strengthen our hand with the emperor. Yes, please. Let's see. So we got 302. Wow, that's a lot. Well, not really. Primary education. I kind of don't want to go into this one, but I want to keep our consumer goods low for now. Oh, what is this? Maximum talent. You know what? That's probably worth it. Let's go and choose him immediately. Agent of Terror. Elusive Gentleman. Damage Garrisons. This is kind of different. Required Garrisons. Damage Garrisons. Resistance to K Speed. I kind of like that one. Too. Oh, no one for army or navy or air force. Oh god. Um, industrial research dispersed. Construct concentrated. Well, we went dispersed, didn't we? Yeah. I want to try something different. Contact the emperor, of course. But no. Got something too. Oh, do we have no one else to choose here? Oh. Interesting. We already have dispersed construction. Let's try construction. Because we can. And the Imperial deal. The time is now to make our operative Imperials. Let's agree to carve Japan between ourselves. Together we can forge uh, a reified Japan under bandages of the masses. When we, could, but when we go social democratic, we can definitely go that way too. Pack. Packs of non-aggression. Neutrality. Can't create faction, huh? Because when we go down here, we're actually going to lose division speed, recruitable population by 2%, 20% of attack, and 10% re recovery rate, so. I think more as well. We need a lot of support for the monarchy, too, so. We'll see. Keep building, 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 building. And uh, you know what? Let's get some more stability as well. That'd be nice. We're getting a little bit on guns. That's nice. Still 37. Get some more construction speed because that's what we went for. Nice. Manpower is okay. Many go to limit conscription. Devastation Guernica? Guernica. After this, we're going to start building some uh, military factories. Alright. Well, maybe not. There we go. And Imperial Deal. Yasuhito arrives. Oh, wait. One of the following must be true. Con Southern Constitution Monarchy. Absolute Monarchy. 
Yasuhito has reached Edo in the jubilation and discontentment of his residence. Let Zippy know his first practical step to finding a middle ground between those civilized factions that are prepared to mediate and accommodate to achieve a peaceful resolution. Unexpected. But welcomed. Um the rate of the people, I guess, if we really wanted to. I might if we have enough political power, but just go with uh, the actually I guess not conservative sport anymore. Really just monarchy sport. Authoritarianism, fascism, communism, social democratic stuff. Uh unaligned monarchy. Conservatives. German helps the phalange. Pretty normal. Don't have enough guns. Doesn't seem like we'll ever have enough guns, too. Oh. Well, they certainly did explode, didn't they not? So, Warren Spain continues. Nice. Imperial deal. Well, the recent victory of the Conservatives in the elections. <clears throat> Talks have uh, opened up between us and the Kansai government regarding the restoration of the Imperial House of Japan uh, as head of government of the Japanese provisional government. But our society on the matter is heavily polarized. A slight majority argue that giving a member of the royalty complete control of the government would lead to unrest and provisional government for getting its main aim, for bringing upon democracy in Japan. They propose that the king be only given a ceremonial to work as a unifying factor for the Japanese. This is a really narrow path, and one mistake can lead to our government failing to its doom. Let's put a lot of thought and consideration on this decision, as it may change your fate forever. Chrysanthemum, uh, chrysanthemum throne. Yeah. Yes, we just reached Edo, of course. It was very nice. Civilized factions that are prepared to mediate and accommodate chief peace of new president. Fumimaro Kone has resigned as president. Every nation is appointed a successor to be sworn shortly. Reach Edo, the jubilation discontentment of all of that. The residence has been known as the first practical snap. Cool. So now we'll have this. Just popularity of monarchism. Yasuhito gives us more stability. Conference of the two capitals. Exiles since the Boshin War, the Empire's return to Kansai. Uh, this we cannot continue to ignore. While they may not be our ideological brethren, we may have more in common than what might think. Let us offer a detente with the Imperials and endeavor to unite against the most wretched governments to exist in Japan. Imperial State of Kansai. Oh, they're actually raiding Obama. Hirohito, Showa Emperor, wow. Naga, Nagako. Shinto State. Marxist Inventors. Tohoku Peasant Republic. Wow, minus 33% attack and defense? Jesus. Communist Infighting, pretty normal low taxes. Sucks to be them. Um, here, eight percent. Radio. Get nice. Oh, a lot for investments. Nationalize them. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Allow allow foreign investments. That's not bad. Or force legitimacy. We can do that too. Start working on stuff and then better consumer goods, public investments, invest in Intercanto, urbanize Edo Bay, deals with the Anglosphere, recover from the brain drain. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Not gonna lie. Slight bit ahead of time. We need more fuel. Because we've been training our ships this whole time. Whoa, 69 Navy XP. Nice. Sixty-five percent. Well, well, we're doing better. Oh, huh. Satsuko. Yes, Ohito. I like his suit. Well, I'm going to assume it's a suit. A little bit ahead of time. That's all right. Yeah. So now, legitimacy, daily political power gain. Got plus, basically minus twenty percent attack, minus ten percent I guess attack, Min minus one percent recruitable population factor. Ooh, we're demobilizing. So I want to save as much manpower as possible. Oh, 
Hmm. Maybe wait first. Meeting two emperors. Invite Hirohito to Tokyo. Um, I'm not sure. Let's save the game first. Do we want to have a battle between maybe Hirohito to Tokyo? Yeah, let's we'll see what happens. Let's invite him in. Maybe it'll be nice. Or maybe not. Secure Tokugawa Shogunate. Northern Honshu. Well, these guys are very busy at the moment, at being at war. They have quite a few divisions. Oh my gosh, we have like no divisions compared to these guys. Well, don't get me wrong, they are in a war right now. Are you okay? Hmm. We do have over 300 political power, basic social assistance, public health care. Or political power is not bad too, but. Oh, we are purple for monarchy. Nice. Mm. Go to that one. Secure. Well, this one might be the best one to do. We haven't heard back from uh, Hiro Hiro yet, but you know, you never know. How thick are these divisions? Not super thick. Emperor accepts! I'm meeting Lee Legendary. We must propose a closer ties. It's been such a great meeting. Can we actually get them under us? And this mod moves so fast, which I love, 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 that saving takes no time. If we can unite with them, and we, then we can hit these guys on two fronts, basically. Victory, huh? Oh, they won. They actually did win. Completely. And utterly. Nice. Not like it helps us at all, but whatever. Mm. Let's go with you. Extraction? Do we really need extraction at all? Oh god, yeah. Pretty offensive. Are off- oh! Add vassalization. Well, crap! That ain't too bad. Actually, that... Offense? Oh, we can't do this guy. Oh, we have to do this one. Oh, the Imperial Council must exist. Not in a faction. Oh, so they can't do this if they're in a faction with us. Scared Northern Hong Chu? Oh, good God. I don't know if we can do well up here. Especially considering we have no supply up here. But again, you and me will see. And we'll learn. And we've just finished, of course, allow for investments, but as well as public investments, and now we're gonna do raise infrastructure standards. Standards. Poor and outdated regulations for certain infrastructure within our state must allow for things like shire roads. By shoring up legislation on the matter, we can ensure that infrastructure built within our state will not degrade so quickly. Uh, so we're not getting any more, and we definitely need more uh, monarchist support. So, also uh, we're also more of these guys. So far, not bad. Um, it really, really, really does help that uh, these guys have really crappy divisions. So, yeah, that's, uh, we gotta capitalize on that as much as possible because we got way more than us. So and that's why I'm trying to make it circumference here too. So. So this point, I want you guys to go down here too. It'll be a small encirclement to begin, but that's alright. It's only two divisions in circle, but whatever. Come on. Ah, they're attacking the line more now, which is good as well, but...
Oh, right. I was wondering why the game was so quiet. Support weapons. Good, good, good. Still 1938 for now. Anti-air might not be bad either. Definitely get this, though. Alright, just hold for now. They're, they're actually really attacking us quite a bit. Even over there as well. Hopefully those guys over there don't really want to attack us, but you never know. Oh, we could have worked on me too, though. Ooh. Go ahead and get monarchy support, because we definitely need to get more monarchy support. Uh, and more military factories, too. Right now, we're going to battle plan, which is alright. I guess we'll stay with that for one for now. We'll go Spirit Firepower some other campaign. There you go. Excavation. We're going to grab the next level, too. There you go. You know, how much manpower do they actually have? They should have quite a bit. They're communists, so they should have quite a bit. Decent amount. Uh, ooh, synthetic, synthetic refinery production. The Germans in Europe, in their struggles to achieve autarky, have made great endeavors in the field of synthetic refinement of key strategic resources. By following their example and likewise endeavoring to innovate this field of research, we may uh, help to mitigate Japan's lack of vital resources uh, to future war efforts. Yeah, why not? But after that. Urbanized Edo Bay. Uh, let's at least recover from the brain drain first. The chaos of Edo and the collapse of the provisional government left much of the intelligentsia pack and free the opportunities of the rebel factions or leaving for foreign countries. By reaching out to so many of these more pragmatic professors and learned men, we can recover from the vacuum of intellectual talent. Republican pressure. With the events that are setting Japan and the world on fire, the Allies have joint, issued a joint declaration, demanding that we take a stance and join the efforts. Should we comply or deny the risk of facing national international backlash? Nation goes first. We stand with the democracies. Nation first, man. Nation first. Now work on me. And we are uh, raising our conscription level, but we need, we're going to need more anyway, so. Fine. I want to keep attacking. I'm fine with that. They've lost 50,000 already, which is not actually really good for us. I'm very concerned about all those soldiers on the border, though, which is very quite alarming, I'll be honest. We have no planes because we don't get enough of anything really here. We need to take out more resource areas, but that's alright. Uh, trade. Do the best you can with what you got. It ain't much, but do the best you can. You know, they want to keep attacking. I'm okay with that too. It's commando, special. Oh, hello. Let's go with more attack for now. Fine, you can go over there first. Infantry specialist? Sure. Nice. More attack and defense is beautiful. Slowly going up here. Nice. East of State's gone. And then deal with the Anglosphere. Americans were instrumental in stabilizing our nation and securing Edo, and the British were always important trade partners. Dining our bonds with them helped secure important and profitable trade deals. Come on, keep attacking. They've already lost 70,000 now. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh oh. Oh, actually, one something, huh? Hey, something to destroy. It's not bad. Carrier, cruiser, actually. I want more naval XP for this stuff, too. Um, Really, I want light cruisers. It's a lot of. Uh, we need some anti sub stuff. Torpedoes. Radar. Coal cruiser, huh? Tier 1 whole downgrades do not sound quite good to me. Oh. Since you have nothing on there anyway, do that. There you go. <clears throat> I mean, we're out of resources as is, but still. Alright, 160 political power. Alright, what else can we grab here? In all honesty, we're going to stay on export focus for now, so. Hey, we still 3 division, that's pretty good. Eh, good, and we're still building ourselves up. Can we do a general attack? Man, that'd be good, that'd be great. Get everyone on the front line first. If we have orders. Can we get how much political power every day? 1.14, not bad. Logistic companies are pretty good, though. 
grab that. Happy 1939, everybody. And get some better already, too. Beautiful. Nice. Well, it says we can do well. We can try it. It says we're here. Resource-wise, they have nothing. They have a little bit of steel. A lot, quite a bit of steel, actually. I mean, we could use it, too, so... Four thousand. Call him in. <clears throat> oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, we could really use that stuff. If anything, really, we could improve you guys quite a bit. Doggos, tip of the spear. Levian Mass. Huh. Professional Officer Corps, Bushido. Ooh, more breakthroughs would be nice. Quick improvisation. Theater training. Oh, that actually would be really good. That's not bad either. I don't know. I want to keep working on the line doctrine first. Go and hold real quick. They don't have a lot of stability, do they? And then urbanize Ido Bay. Ido is a coastal city, but much of the sea is spread inland. By coaxing future construction plans, focus their expansion towards the sea uh, around the perimeter of the Edo Bay, we can ensure that the more of the urban sprawl goes towards dockers and coastal infrastructure. Invest in Intercano. Uh, investment and development schemes in urban environs of Kanto increase the rate of urbanization and industrialization for more people to the cities. Not only will industrial strength advance as a result, but also the stability of direct grasp over the population. Well, thanks, guys. The Germans in Japan. Oh, well, crap. I guess we also should probably have some garrisons. Nice. Just gonna make sure that we have the right ones. Um, where is it? Trade hubs, occupied territories. Well, that's one on. We gotta get some uh, military police as well. Oh, they better decryption or encryption or something like that right now. It's alright, they won't be able to stand up against us. And we're missing. Oh, manpower! Military police. It's alright, I did say we go to extensive anyways. Infantry, combined arms, yes, please. We're just missing a crap ton worth of stuff, are we not? Nice. There you go. Now hold for now. It's two tiles still. Let them continue attacking us. We've lost 14,000 versus a quarter million. That's not bad. They have a crap ton of divisions, though. Oh, what happened? I have all this stuff. Well, they're out of manpower. We're out of equipment. They're still attacking us, though. We're sport. Uh, Walter Rosenberg, if you heard about this, please go right ahead. Surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. I mean, they still want to kill, keep trying to kill us off. Fuel rationing. Ah, oh, look at that manpower. We had some. Now it's all gone. Nice. Um, now we're going to focus on here. Defense spending. This is far from play by in the Civil War. Let's take out whatever loans this war requires. No doubt, or no doubt, we might encourage too high for to secure this victory. Upscaling our defense spending will buy us more arms, support more troops, and keep our imports flowing. We must not fall. It's only one division. 
But it's better than nothing. Better engineers, nice. Nice. We keep trucking this way. You know what? Can you truck all the way over there? That'd be very impressive if we could. Oh, maybe not, but they're also. We can use the defense right here, too. Beautiful. Is that seven divisions in total? That's quite a few. Are we done building? No, we're not. Lies! Lies! Do we actually build up all the roads here? Holy crap, we did. Um, in the meantime, do we need radar? We get some radar up here. Maybe throw in air bases. Well, just one, not too much. And keep making some more millies. Not bad. I hate to play as that faction, but we'll try it eventually. If you push this, what do you have one of those guys? Cancel enemies? Crap, that's not good. We only attack more. You're doing about integration eventually, probably as well. Uh, so you less garrisons are probably a good thing too. You guys go right there. I'm gonna go through here. Come on. Oh, I guess that's not us, right? Huh. Hello. Munich agreement. No, don't really care right now. I'm out. Get too old. Nice. Can't do anything about that, huh? Not good. Of course, supply is not very good, but that's why we're trying to get over here. Supply is quite good over there. Right here. We need both in here. Alright. Great Depression's over. Nice. No, I just kind of skimmed through that, but whatever. There's some very bad areas here. I want to start making some more stuff there. Breakthrough Soft Tech is good. Uh, Kanto Militia. Kanto's the last bastion of hope for the same peoples of J Japan. Former paramilitary divisions could prove useful in ensuring the defense of our coastlines and control of occupied territories or could, but, uh, could be put towards supplementing our main forces. Nice. Oh, six divisions this time. Nice. Come on. Good. Armor breakthrough, yes. Military place is very good as well. Armor trains, yes. And now, that's why I waited for this stuff. Well, we don't have enough army speed right now. God dang it. Huh. Infiltration assault? Sure, why not? You can be a guy who infiltrates and assaults. Good. Now give us a supply base. Awesome. Oh, that helps out so much. It's not even funny. Oh, do we build that? We didn't even have any supply here. Oh, crap. Yeah, mine need a little bit of supply. So that mind. I still have a crap ton of divisions. Some manpower. Service by requirement. Stockpile. Can't really tell. We do have radar here, too. Fighters. Ooh, we actually have some cats. We actually, let's wait to attack real quick. Couple days, three, two, one, let's grow. Germany invades Poland, okay. End of the League of Nations, nice. Alright, what else do we have here? Soviet Union invades Poland, huh? I didn't see that one coming, huh? Well, probably that one to do. Alright, maintenance, military police. It's fine, I'm getting rid of the other one, but whatever. Not really, but whatever. Alright. 
uh, optimize modern production. But streamlining your production lines, doing away with unnecessary tasks along with numerous other simplifications, we can optimize production rates for rifles and other small arms. Artillery support. Oh, yeah. So, battalion without artillery support is a battalion marching towards an as organized uh, uh, and unsuppressed opponent. Research grants and initiatives look or into European artillery theory. What we'll advance our ability to ensure that our American trust shows being fired from behind them? Allied victory in Austria. German told Berlin. This is very weird. Okay. So not bad. They've lost over half a million. They've lost they have less than a hundred divisions so far, which is really good too. The left front here, our more western front, is doing okay. The eastern front is doing great though. Oh, Allied victory in Poland. Oh, this one's not good. What the bad word? I'm not getting involved in that war. You can't make me get involved in that war. I don't want to get involved in that war, so we gotta win this war now. Hopefully this will be the end of these guys. Jesus Christ, Kansai. What they were our vassal. It's an forty though. Now let's support. Artillery support, I should say. Heavy take program. There's no better way to overcome a heavy fortified opposition proposition through brute force or strength than do that we'll need state of the art heavy armor. Ensuring that our research teams are getting maximal funding in such a field, no matter the cost, will give us the edge we need to maximize our effectiveness of our heavy tanks. Tanks, huh? Not bad. We're out of equipment, but we're doing very well. As long as you don't go to war with us, we should be fine, but you never know. Sendai? Yeah. Could use more stability as well, still. It's not like our divisions are that good. Their divisions and their strengths just suck. Okay, that's not us. Man, our guy just loves going to war. Are they doing the allies as well? Alright. Better supply consumption, more battalions are good too. Tiller support's good. Tank program. Fortify Tohoku border. The barbarians are occupied Tohoku are now better, uh, no better than the hordes that tried to invade our island so many years, centuries ago. We cannot rely on storms to halt these foes, but concrete, heavy batteries, dragons' teeth, lines, and bunkers can break the strength of these Marxists just as well as any cyclone. How much further do we have to go? Fall of France. 800,000 have been lost. They have less than 60 divisions. We push long, hard, and wide. We got a lot of infrastructure here. This faction suit will seem pretty difficult to play as it seems, but it could be wrong. Allied victory in Alsace. Yeah, and there, and circling to kill them all off. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Go to limit exports. How are we looking now? No. Not really worth it. Production cost goes down. I don't you though. 
sure. And then fortify Chubu border. Our current frontiers with the so-called Shogun have put us at a geographical disadvantage. To compensate, we interact an intricate network of pillboxes, foxholes, minefields, and outposts, and batteries to ensure that our lines do not collapse under the power of their initial attack. And we're out of fuel again. We're really good for army XP, though. Very good. Yeah. Go for the next war. Oh, I get more population, too. Nice. We're still mobilizing. Yeah, we are. That's awesome. How are these guys doing? They're actually pushing in. You guys are what? Are you actually my puppet? You are actually our puppet. Oh. Thanks, guys. How much more do we need to kill these guys off? They've like 30 divisions. Max. 94% of the way there, huh? Go the extra long way around. But the colony will deal with them later. Is that not enough now? Oh, now it is. Okay. Woo. Nice. And then after that, secure Hokkaido. Republic of a Izo. Also, one of these guys. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad, so. But I think I'll end the episode here. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. As we'll attack the Republic of Izo and see what our ally is going to do with the Toko, Tokugawa Shogun. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.